Peggy 16. The Syndicate began as a group of ruthless trading houses who, in their prime, commanded massive armies, controlled entire star systems, and held a monopoly on the trade of valuable goods. Now, with interstellar travel moving again, the Syndicate consider the galaxy open for business. The Syndicate always prefer diplomacy over combat, but at the same time are extremely manipulative, specializing in both psionic attacks and covert operations. The Cloak and Dagger Doctrine gives a huge boost to their operational strength, while One-Way Trust raises their defense against enemies or any ally who is foolish enough to share intelligence with one. The Syndicate Scout Unit is the runner and is the only faction scout that's hidden on the world map. While lightly armed, its escape module allows it to teleport to safety the moment it would receive fatal damage in battle. Though the Syndicate prefer to solve things without getting their hands dirty, they're quite formidable in a fight. Coming to combat with an arsenal of arc weaponry and psionic attacks that can overwhelm their opponents. Their powerful war machines possess advanced Psy-Tech amplifiers, allowing their psionic potential to be raised to a terrifying degree, forming an intimidating centerpiece to their attack. At the front lines of Syndicate armies are the indentured units, slave warriors forced to wear control collars. Combined with the Subjugator, a T3 support unit that can bring the indentured back from the dead, the Syndicate can throw herds of near immortals at their enemies in the most hostile of takeovers. The Syndicate are used to exploiting and outwitting lesser beings. Pray they don't consider you one. They think 
the coalition can save them. They are the dogs barking at the tiger. They cannot match my ambition. They cannot overcome my strength. But they will bow before my rule. <laughs> Peggy 16. Conscript fathers, noblest men of Rome, has our Republic ever known such abundance? New roads and aqueducts decorate the landscape built by the fruits of conquest. Our once humble city is the flourishing center of a mighty empire. This wealth was bought by the bravery of our legions. Victors in a thousand battles over a thousand enemies. And it is to one man that we owe this new infusion of wealth dedicated to our gods. Some of you grumble about more honors heaped on an already honored man. You whisper the word king and spit the word tyrant but has he not honored us with his feats of arms? Has he not cleansed the Republic of its impure elements? Even our most ancient enemies cower in obeisance and clamor for his friendship. It is safer for you to be his friend. Thank you. 